Okay, we are recording. Hi, everybody. This is Jared. Um, I'm here with my sisters, Melanie and Jesse. I'm just going to let them introduce themselves. We're going to go from the oldest to the youngest. So, uh, Melanie, go ahead and you start since you're the oldest. So, my name is Melanie Miller Ford, Miller, maiden name, um, my dad's name, and I am the oldest of three. All right. Well, I am. Um, Jarrett Miller. Uh, I am the second. I am about a little less than two years older than, I'm younger than Melanie and about five years older than my uh, younger sister, which is Jesse. Jesse, introduce yourself. Hi, I am Jesse Miller. Still Jesse Miller, maiden and married. Got lucky that way. Um, and I am the youngest. And I've always been a little bit spoiled because I'm the youngest. That was nice. This is true. Okay. So so we're here. We're going to uh, just talk about um, mom for the next 20, 25 minutes. And so I hope you guys that are watching kind of enjoy it. And we're just going to take you back uh, just down memory lane. And so um, so the, our first question we're going to answer is who is our mom? So which one of you guys want to feel that one? Who is our mom? Who is your mom? I can do that one. Okay. I think that was the easy one, so we'll jump for the easy one. Um, our mom was a very compassionate, strong-willed, very independent, probably one of the strongest women I've ever met in my life, and could absolutely love anyone, no matter what the circumstances were. Who they were, what they did, didn't matter. She loved and had compassion for anyone and anything, which is why we have like 15 animals. So that is who I see as my mother. And that's who I think she really was. Well, her name, Jesse, you forgot to tell everybody her name. Um, her name was um, Karen uh, Didier Miller. Her maiden name was Didier. Um, her original middle name was Faye, right? It was Faye, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So it was, I guess, Karen Didier Faye Miller. And uh, she passed away in September of 2018. So um, this September will be two years. Um, and she was uh, sick for uh, 10 years, maybe, um, the, you know, but really sick the last couple of years of her life. And so, um, so she did pass away. And so, uh, hopefully we can get through this, you know, 20 minutes because uh, obviously it's emotional, right? So um, so we're just going to go and ask, we'll, we'll start with you, Melanie. What is the earliest memory of mom that you had? Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> true story. <laughs> um, I remember probably being... Um, Eli's age. Oh gosh, I don't want to cry. I probably remember being Eli's age, about um, three or four, and uh, we were taking a nap one day. She used to give us naps. I don't know if you remember that, Jared, <laughs> but um, I think this. So I may have even been younger because you may not have been born yet. But um, I just remember we were taking a nap and laying in bed with her and just hugging her and holding her tight. And I remember specifically telling her. Um, mom, I don't want you to ever die. <laughs> um, and just uh, having that conversation with her and um, and her reminded me and telling me she wasn't going anywhere and that she was going to be around for a while and um, and that she was going to take care of us and that she loved us and um, just that it was just an emotional moment and I was I was so small and that's the first thing I really remember um, being that young and just taking a nap with her and holding her and loving her and telling her as a child that I wanted her to be there forever. All right. Um, I don't, I don't, golly, you know, I think I hit my head too many times as a kid because my memory is <laughs> terrible. Um, <laughs> like, I mean, legitimately I've hit my head a lot. And so my memory, <laughs> my memory is uh, not great going so far back. Um, so like specifically, I don't have a whole lot. I mean, I, I do remember being 
I, I, I kind of remember fighting and argument. You know, I kind of remember those kind of things as like maybe like a, a elementary school and different things like that. I remember doing homework like in third grade. I know that's like only like you're like six, seven years old, right? Or, or when you're in third grade. So like I don't have any super, you know, um, memories. I just remember being just a kid, you know, and just you know, being around in the household and her always being there because she was a stay at home mom. So, mm -hmm. uh, for most of our lives, I, I remember her always, uh, cooking, always in the kitchen, always cleaning. Um, I do remember like getting yelled at a lot for peeing on the toilet seat, you know, and peeing all <laughs> over the toilet and stuff like that. But like specifically, like I don't have any, like, and, it, not, and that's kind of unfortunate, you know, um, but like that specific memory, like I don't have, um, a whole lot of that, you know, I can look at some old pictures and things like that. And, um, but I do remember them bringing me to school at CCA and Shaman Christian Academy and things, mm -hmm. just the, things like that, you know, um, uh, taking, like, I don't remember going to Disney World. I know we went to Disney World. Uh, Jesse, I don't think you were around when we went to Disney World. Um, yeah. but I don't remember that. I know we went, but I don't remember like that Disney World. So I don't have too many early memories, but what about you, Jesse? Uh, I do have one that's early, and it's when y'all used to, I mean, I don't know the specific day or time. I just remember being young, and y'all were going off to school, and I hated when y'all went to school. And so I'd cry every time y'all went to school. And cry and cry and cry and cry. And mom would do the same thing all the time. She'd scoop me up. She'd sit me on her lap. We'd watch Sesame Street, which I loved. And after about 10 or 15 minutes of her sitting with me with watching Sesame Street, and I stopped crying because y'all were at school. She would get up and make me peanut butter toast and hot chocolate, usually. And I'd eat that for breakfast. And then I was good until y'all came home. Oh. But it was every morning I cried every time y'all to school. Poor woman. But yeah, and she would do the same routine. Sesame Street, peanut butter toast, and hot chocolate. That's awesome. Okay, so not to start a not to start a fight, but it says here it asks what which one of us is your mom's favorite, and then which sibling is most like mom. So, uh, you know, I I I don't think like specifically I could I could say like uh, I'm dad's favorite, pretty pretty um, <laughs> um, confidently, nice? right? Uh, but That's like I don't great. yeah I don't think. Um, I, I, I can honestly say, like, like even with my kids, like, there's certain one of my kids that, like, I mesh well better with the others, right? I mean, you just, you have that. It's not like you have a favorite. But I, I can honestly say I don't think mom had uh, a favorite. I think she just, you know, like, I, don't, I didn't see any favoritism. Obviously, we can look back and be like, oh, well, you did this. Like, Jesse said, oh, she's spoiled. She's the, I mean, but, like, the, the favoritism, I don't, I don't see that. I don't know if she had to, you know, gun against her head would have picked any any one of us. But I mean, maybe y'all have a different opinion, but that that would be mine. I agree with that. Uh when I read that question, I was like, my answer would have been mom didn't have a favorite. She treated us all different in the way that we needed to be treated. Yeah. Um, she and it wasn't because she liked one more. It was just she knew what every kid needed from her and she gave that exact thing. Um, so I would just say that she didn't choose a favorite. She just treated each of us the way uh, she met our personalities where we're at on all of us. Yeah. She was really good at that. What she about, was definitely really good. yeah, she was. What about which one of us is most like mom? What I think, think you are. Yeah. I think you're. Um, what about you? Jen? Yeah, I would, I'd probably say you too, actually. Um, the more you've grown up, the more you've become like mom. Ooh. I think they'll gotten. I think, I think I'm, I have mom's, um, compassion and heart. I think y'all are a little bit more fiery than I am. Um, obviously I can get a little fiery, but y'all are, y'all definitely have the fire, you know, that, that, that attitude that dad gets. And I'm kind of the more laid back kind of oil off the water's back. So I think I do get that from uh mom just kind of roll with the punches and, and and move forward and not really yeah look at uh you know that's exactly yeah i'd have to agree with that 
Yeah. What about? I think maybe only try. We're just not very good at it. Yeah, <laughs> the voice of reason. I am. I, I try to be the voice of reason sometimes. So yeah. What about? Um, what the most favorite meal your mom used to cook and the least favorite meal your mom used to cook? You I'll remember? I'll do that. Okay, go ahead. So lima beans. <laughs> I still lima don't like beans. them. Daddy loved them, and so he, she would cook lima beans for daddy. And we had to eat them, and I hated them. Um, my most favorite meal, I don't know. You know, I, I don't know if you guys remember as a child, I just didn't eat very much, and I just wasn't very interested. But I do remember your most favorite meal as a child, Jerry. <laughs> which was what? Which was what? The week for you. Wait, say it, it again. Chicken. Yeah, chicken with cheese. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you that was my favorite, too. Yes. I was thankful yeah. for it. And so, um, and so, you know, it's literally she put made baked chicken and put cheese on top, and that was yeah. Most it was yeah. I didn't know it was your favorite, Jesse, but I knew it was Jared's. Yeah. yeah, it was. That was the first thing that popped in my head when I read that question. I was like, chicken and cheese. Yeah, yeah. breast with cheese on it. That's all it was. It was just a piece of baked chicken breast with a uh, what was it? Parmesan cheese melted on top. Uh, that's mozzarella, mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese. Yeah, and that's all it was, and that was that was my favorite. Yeah. Um. Least favorite, I don't, you know, I don't remember the least favorite. I remember fighting about red beans or okay. lima beans. I do remember that, like, always. Because she, she was, like, the Monday red beans kind of cook, right? So it seemed like we had red beans every single week. Um, what about mom's favorite thing to do? What do you think about that? <sighs> she gardening. She, yeah. Gardening outside. Yeah, I think she anything. Like yeah, anything cook. outside, right? Yeah. Oh, you're right. You're right. She did love everything outside. She I loved mean, to cook. And yeah, she she loved organization and she loved anything outside. Like she was always outside, like working on the house, painting something, fixing something. She loved crafts. You know, I mean, you know, we couldn't even go uh, buy regular Christmas decorations. You remember that? Like she made plywood Christmas decorations and like painted the Santa Claus on them and painted the elves and. Remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. Jesse, do you remember that? I don't, but I remember mom always, like her stained glass mm -hmm. attic room and her, um, with all of her stained glass. I think she kind of stopped doing it after all three of us. I think we took over, but um, I do remember like how she spent hours, you know, drawing up plans to remodel the kitchen or this. And I'm like, like, how do you spend all day doing that? She just loved that stuff. Yeah. Anything. Anything to do with, you know, crafts and arts and outside and stuff like that. What about um, if mom was to become famous, what would she become famous for? If she were to become famous, what would she be famous for? That's a tough question, I think. Well, let me just tell you this. Have you ever seen the picture of, I think her name is Karen Black, okay? You have to go look her up. She's an actress either prior to mom's time or about mom's time. And someone said, you look like, told me, you look just like Karen Black. And I was like, huh? So I looked her up. I don't look just like Karen Black. Mom looks just like Karen Black. Really? <laughs> um, you'll have to, you'll have to look it up. And so I don't know if she'd ever been a famous actress, but I mean, they look pretty darn alike. Yeah. So uh, anyway, just a note. The all, um, let me see. Karen Black. I, I don't know what she would be famous for. Um, you know, she loved art. She loved to draw. She that's, loved to make things. That's the way we're doing. She's good at it. Yeah. She, she had, she, she, she loved, you know, I know Melanie, she taught you singing. And, and so, like, she was talented on, on across multiple levels. Or I don't even know if she was talented across multiple levels, but I think that she learned things to teach us. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, yes. um, like she might not have been interested in, you know, necessarily singing, but she learned singing to teach you singing. And she learned, you know what I'm saying? And like, when I wanted to draw, she taught me how to draw, stuff like that. She did. And do you remember her being the drama teacher at OLPS? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was the drama teacher at OLPS. And I think she did that so that she could spend time with us at Prom Soccer, you know? Yeah. Um. 
What about um, funniest memory? Funniest memory of mom. <coughs> Excuse me. That's funny. hard. <laughs> I don't know why. And just a hard one. Um, I remember we used to go um, as children. We, we used to spend a lot of time at our camp in northern Louisiana, and um, my mom used to like bringing us out in the boat skiing, right, and 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 um, and knee boarding and tubing and stuff. Um, and I don't know if it's a funny memory, but like she would legitimately try to flip us out of that tube. I think most. You know, she loved us, but she loved flipping us out of that stinking tube and making us fly out. Of course, I think we loved it too, but, you know, I know she would just try to hit those waves and, 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 and really make us fly off that tube and hit the water pretty hard. And, I, you know, I think sometimes you get pretty mad at her if you got hurt, but it was a lot of fun. And so she enjoyed, I think, I think she enjoyed, you know, flipping us out of that thing and, 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 and pulling us around on that tube a lot. So. I know that she laughed. She was doing that too. I do remember her laughing a lot. So. Yeah, so yeah. She, I remember her saying that. She thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah. sometimes one of us in the boat and she'd be laughing and laughing, and the other person that was water could just see that they were so angry, and she's just laughing. Yeah. Like, well, y'all are y'all made me come out here, bring y'all too, but I have to have some fun, you know. Yeah, yeah. What's so crazy though is like you think about all the things we just talked about in the last like. I don't know, 60 seconds from like, you know, drama and art and music and driving a boat and putting it all together and then putting it up and all the, gar like, I don't know that like, people just don't do all those things. She really was a, a master of a lot of things Yeah, and maybe not a master, but she wasn't scared to do anything. What about, um, did a lot of go ahead. Yes. I'm sorry. I mean, unfortunately, she did a lot of that by herself. I don't, not saying that our dad was not there. He was, he worked I and mean, he had to, he was the only one that worked. And when she took us to the camp, she was hundred percent by herself with three kids, taking them tubing and skiing and swimming in the lake and cooking for us and cleaning for us. And like, when you take back an eye, you know, look at having my kids and going up there and doing all that all summer, trying to get the boat down from the ramp, putting the boat up. What if the boat don't run? And I'd be like, oh, this is, this is hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, where's Mark? Like, hello, somebody needs some help, you know? But she didn't, she did it every summer by herself. It just amazes yeah. me. She was yeah. a very strong woman. Yeah. Yeah. What, 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 what do you, what do you remember? Um, the question says, uh, let me see. Well, I lost it. Um, Obviously, we just asked where we were going. We were going to that fishing camp in Toledo Bend for she loved going up there for vacation. But what about um, what was your mom? If you wanted to annoy your mom, what would you do? If you wanted to annoy mom, what would you do? What did what was mom's pet peeve? Like, what did she? I mean, I know my answer, but I mean, what what about you guys? I asked her over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And over. Keep asking. And over. I think if you put anything back in the wrong place or didn't like pick up after yourself, like, like she was, you know, so organized and so this, everything had a spot. And so like, if you didn't like even the cleaning stuff underneath the sink, I mean, it was just like, if you put the, the bleach in the wrong spot, you know, and, and I just I remember her always wanting to have the house clean. So she was always and like we always just made it dirty. And obviously I kind of told y'all, you know, peeing on the seat and this and this and that. And, and, you know, she would just get no, not mad, but be like, hey, how, how much do you have to you know, how, how hard is it to to learn to put something back where it needs to go? You know, so. But I mean, other than that, I don't remember getting angry too much, you know. Yeah. I actually can now that you said that, you know, I was thinking younger. I, as y'all were out of the house and I was in the house, I pretty much got her anger a couple times, stealing like the tweezers and I'd, she'd been in my room or some of her makeup and it'd end up in my room and she would really get mad at me. That's a woman thing. I've learned that as I've gotten older, yeah. you know, that that's a woman thing. Like my tweezers, my if you're going to use it, put it back. I don't want to come looking for it, but that would drive her crazy, especially yeah. when she wanted them and 
I was like, I don't know where they are. Well, you had to take them. Like, mm, probably. But yeah, that would annoy her. Yeah, I do remember that. What about, um, so we talked about your earliest memory. Um, what about your favorite memory? Favorite memory of mom? There's so many. Oh. Anybody want to go? I liked our Florida beach vacations. I don't remember as much of them when y'all were younger, but when I was younger, she took us and like us, sometimes me and a friend of mine, um, sometimes just us. I think there was times y'all were there. I'm not. It was in my teens, but I mean, I remember like two of the beach trips and she took me and my friends to Pensacola all the time, um, for like three or four days and we just stayed in the hotel and went to the beach. Um, and like on the drive up there, we would all talk and play car, like the car games, you know, like, you know, find this letter or, you know, whatever, all the good car games that we used to play as kids. So I think that's one of my favorite memories there's so many there's a lot of vacations that went on but i just remember going like every summer no fail like we usually went to Pensacola for three days and it was fun i remember um there's lots of them like i, I remember specifically like jesse said like the times on the water whether it was skiing in toledo bend or um going to the beach um as a family or with friends, those are some of my favorite. Um, more specifically, I remember um, what I always like to do that I remember very specifically was uh, we would have tea with the ginger snaps with mom and sometimes with her family. Do you guys remember that? And we would go mm -hmm. and we'd have like a specific amount of ginger snaps and we would have tea, like English tea. And um, I would, yeah, I, mean, I do remember just, doing that, yeah. Tea. It was really like I just remember. Um, I don't know. There's mo that that moment sticks out with um, sharing that with her, and then sometimes with her sisters and our cousins, and um, yeah, so many good memories. Oh, I lost y'all on my, my phone here. Let's see. Hold on. Okay, what about my favorite memory? Would be um, I just remember like being in the car. And uh, she was always interactive, like, you know, we didn't have phones back then, right? And so it was always like um, she would sing with us or, or we would sing songs or doing different things like that. And so she was always just interacting with us in the car. Like, it wasn't like she never had time for us. So she was always just um, interactive, interactive and just, hey, let's sing this song and let's do this and, and, and let's listen to this CD and and so it was always like she was just there. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and then there's so many memories. But, I, you know, one of the things I remember the most is that she was super proud of all of us. So, like, especially when I got older and I started, like, preaching and doing different things, she always listened to the stuff and always offered um, critiques and, and, and criticism and, and different things like that. She always did that. And so... Um, that was just really special for me because she was like my biggest fan. And so that was, that was just something I always knew that, that, that she would, no matter, even if it was terrible, she'd be like, oh, that, that was amazing, you know? Um, and so I, I, I really, uh, I really liked that a lot. So we're, we're running out of time a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip and we're going to just talk about how mom, um, what was we got seven minutes left on this thing so um we're gonna go ahead and skip toward the end what about um what was mom's favorite worship song my mom was a christian and so what was her favorite worship song melanie do you know that because i don't um i think she had two and um i can only imagine was one of her favorites and then um let it rain yeah, she did. Like, I do remember that. Anyway. What about favorite yeah. scripture? She had a lot. She had scriptures pasted everywhere. But what was yeah, she would come up and hang them everywhere. Um, I um only you know I don't know the actual 
scripture, but you know, I knew you before you were formed. Um, you'd be a prophet of many nations, Jeremiah, of course. That was actually one she always had posted everywhere. And when I was pregnant and at the age of 17, I saw that scripture over and over and it stuck with me and my oldest son is Jeremiah. So, I mean, I don't know if that's her favorite, but that was, that's one that always stands out for me because of course my kid is named because of, you know, a scripture that my mom had plastered, I think in the bathroom of all places, you know, I'm just in the bathroom and I'm like reading, I'm like, huh, you know, yeah. and I'm just going to pregnant a week ago. And, <laughs> and it just stuck with me the whole time I was pregnant from one scripture in my mom's bathroom. So, Again, I don't know if it's your favorite, but it it sings to me because well, my kid Jeremiah now. What about a was, go ahead? What about a testimony uh, of when you Tom when a, when you saw your mom stand firm in the faith? A testimony of when you saw your mom stand firm in the faith. I mean, I'll, I'll take this one. I mean, I, y'all probably you know she had a falling out with her um, her whole family over uh their parents and um and she stood by her her both her parents she stood both by both by her parents but she felt alone um really alone and and abandoned by her family for uh years uh, years until the day she died um and yet you know she still loved every one of them and would do anything for any one of them and and, and it got pretty bad but and I don't think anybody could have done it without having the love of God. And, and, um, so then that kind of, that just testifies to how much she loved the Lord and, um, how much she, she trusted in God. Um, which brings us to our next question. What's one thing you've learned from your mom that helped that has helped you with your walk in the Lord? I would just say the same thing you just said. Um, I think I even mentioned in her funeral, you know, that sometimes I'm like, if mom can forgive that and she can move on and she could be nice to people that, you know, hurt her so bad and, and never ask for forgiveness and, you know, then I can be like nice too. Like you can calm it down, Jesse. So sometimes I wouldn't say it, she helps me a lot in some situations where I'm over emotional or over angry and, I can sometimes say, no, be a better person. Like, what would your mom do? What would your mom, like, be, you know, walk away, you know, like, or just right. stay, you know, be more compassionate, more forgiving, even if people don't ask for forgiveness. So I would say that is probably the biggest thing I've learned from my mom is to forgive even when people don't ask for forgiveness. Melanie, you got something? We got three yeah. and a half minutes, so. <laughs> um, I think that, um, towards the end of her life, you know, while she was, she still had, um, you know, more cognizance, I guess. She, um, she didn't understand what was going on. Like, I remember her, not that she didn't know, she knew, she knew what was going on, but she didn't understand why. And I remember she couldn't really talk, but she kind of communicated that, um, you know, like, I don't understand what's going on, but she trusted God. Like she, she, and she, and I remember her saying that, like, well, if I ever got cancer, if I ever got, you know, severely sick, um, you know, I think I would just trust God and just, I trust him, you know, no matter what, no matter what happens. And, um, I remember there was a point when all the things had just started happening and she couldn't talk and she was losing some of those functions. And I remember her just kind of being like, I don't understand, but I trust him mm -hmm. and be able to walk in that kind of faith. It's, it inspires me to live each day. Yep. Yeah. I, um, okay. So we have two minutes. So <laughs> what we're, we're going to do, Sorry. it's okay. Please. Um, it's okay. We're going to do the last question and it's, so we have less than a minute. I'm sorry. So do y'all okay. do y'all want to like just let this expire and jump on another one really quick? So we have like another five minutes or something or what? Yeah, we it's up here. Whatever you do that. Okay. So guys, hold Start on. We're, quick. Yeah, we're gonna we have less than a minute. So hold on, guys. We're gonna be right back. Uh, guys, I'm gonna send you another invite. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Mike. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. We ran out of some time, so we we jumped on another meeting, and so, um, so yeah, let's kind of leave. Let's just finish up with um, we just talked about uh, mom's faith in the Lord and and uh, all the different things that that we've learned from her, and uh, so I like to end the meeting with um just like finish the sentence okay so uh we'll finish the sentence and um the sentence is uh i love my mom because so that oldest okay i love, I my, love, mom my, because, yeah. I love my mom because she was always there all right uh, I love my mom because, um, she never, uh, golly, it's like five words. She never gave up on me. She never gave up. She always, she's, she always saw who I would be, not who I was. So. <laughs> All right. I love my mom because she was always there and she met me exactly where I was in life, no matter where it was, no matter how hopeless it felt. Or the situation I got myself into, <laughs> she would always make sure that I knew that it was going to be okay. Right. It didn't matter what situation, it was going to be okay. So she was a great mom. She was a great mom. Was and so, mom. Um, so yeah, so that's that's us. And um, I know we went longer than we were supposed to, y'all. So hopefully, you hung out with us to the end. And um, and for everybody who didn't know our mom, you missed out. That's all, yeah. I, can, that's all I can say. And I guess if you kind of meet, if you were to put us all in a room um, together and, 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 and talk to us, you'd probably get the, a feeling of just a small little bit of who our mom was. Because I think we all carry uh, a little piece of her um, with us and uh, who we are and how we handle things. and. And um, you'll get to see who she was and hopefully uh, experience who she was uh, through us. And so, um, so that's it. So, so everybody out there who um, is watching this, right, um, and you, your mom's still with you, uh, don't take that for granted um, because uh, you don't know how long that's going to be. And so everybody... And, and it's, it's, it's too hard to understand because um, even when you have your mom and, you know, you hear people talk about losing their, their, their parents or, or you can't understand it until it happens. And so um, hold on to them and love them and, uh, and uh, just that's it. So Y'all have anything else to say? No. All right. Well, thank y'all so much for jumping on.